Okay, now let us continue our PSM lecture series. In this video, I'm going to explain about direct standardization and indirect standardization. Trust me, in the next 10 minutes, you'll be able to calculate uh, standardized death rates using direct standardization and indirect standardization, and you're going to find it very easy. So just do me a favor by hitting the like button and commenting below that you understood this video after watching this video. Okay, so don't forget to do that so that it'll help me to make more videos for you guys welcome to meet with me simple if you are new to my channel please make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you can keep watching all my upcoming videos for free and also don't forget to check out our new channel two minute talk the link is in the description of this video so in this channel you're gonna learn about various diseases and drugs in just two minutes we have two different populations with different age composition the death rates of these two populations cannot be compared with crude death rate. We have talked about crude death rate in detail in our previous video. You can check that out. The link is in the comments section. Okay, So we cannot compare the death rates of two different populations with this parameter crude death rate. The reason is that the age, age composition of these two population is actually different. So the age specific death rates also uh, is different in these two population. So that's why crude death rate alone cannot be used as a parameter to compare the death rates of these two population. So what is the solution for this? In our previous video, I've told you the solution for this is to calculate age specific death rates for each age group in that population. When we calculate age specific death rates, we'll be having uh, the, the, the death rates in various age groups in these two populations. And we'll be, we'll be able to compare the death rates occurring in various age groups in these two populations so uh, so that's actually a solution uh, for the problem which we had with crude death rate but the problem with age specific death rate is that we'll be having so many values in the end and it will actually be difficult to compare uh, it'll be actually be a bit difficult or to handle so many values right it will be better if we have a single value uh, to compare the death rates of two different population so that's why age specific death rate is also not so comfortable to use so what's the solution for this problem the solution is calculating adjusted or standardized rates by calculating standardized rates we can be able to be able to compare the death rates of two different populations with different age composition so standardization is the process for comparing death rates of two populations with different age composition in this process we're going to be using a population on a standard population so we a standard population is actually a reference population uh, which is which is given by who or we can also use the country's population as standard population when we want to study about death rates of a given population within the country okay for example if you want to study about the death rates of two different uh, cities in a country you can uh, use standard population as the country's whole population uh, and you can apply these values to the uh, the cities which you're gonna study and you're gonna get a single value as a standardized death rate so you may find it a bit confusing right now but as we move on you'll be able to understand how this works so as i told you standardized pop uh, standardized standardization will help you to compare death rates of two different populations with different age composition standardization is of two types direct standardization and indirect standardization so I recommend you to have a calculator in your hand right now. I'll be giving you a simple, a simple task, some simple tasks in between to help you stay awake till the end of this video. Okay, so, so let's begin. So let us see how to calculate direct standardization. Let's not talk much theory about direct standardization. I've already explained much on how standardization works. So I'm going to show you how to calculate standardized death rates using direct standardization. The first step is to calculate age specific death rates for uh, the given population. So in this table you can see the various age groups in a population. Let us consider this as population A. Okay. So we have mid-year population in the various age groups in the second column and we have the number of deaths occurring in the various age groups in that population in the third column. So what we're going to do is that we're going to calculate age specific death rates in the various age groups and how to calculate that. In our previous video, I explained about age specific death rates and how to calculate age specific death rates. So if you have a calculator in your hand, as I've told you, uh, you 
I, I'm gonna um, just follow my instructions, okay? So, a specific death rate is calculated by the number of deaths occurring in the year divided by mid-year population in that specific age group multiplied by 1000, okay? So, first let us calculate a specific death rates for the population who are less than one year of age, which is in the first row, okay? So, that is given as age zero. In that, we have mid-year population as 4,000 and the number of deaths occurring in the year as 60, as you can see in the first row, okay? So, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna div uh, divide 60 by 4,000 and multiply by 1,000, okay? What did you get? You would have got 15, right? So, that is age specific death rate of the people or less than uh, of the population of the uh, population of less than one years of age. Okay, so by doing this process, you'll be having age specific death rates of various age groups in that population. So, that's how you calculate age specific death rates. That's step one. Just see in the end of the table, we have calculated crude death rate for this population, and that comes to 8.3. Uh, crude, calculating crude death rate does not help us anyway, uh, 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 by any means in calculating standardized death rate but we have calculated crude death rate here just to show you uh, how crude death rate uh, can be different from st uh, standardized death rate and uh, how standardized death rate is actually more uh, bet uh, more better and more specific than crude death rate okay just remember that when we calculate crude death rate for this population by dividing the number of death, total number of deaths occurring in the year by the total total media population multiplied by thousand, it comes to eight point three. Okay, so when we calculate uh, the standardized death rate for this population, it's gonna be different from this. Okay, so let's move on. Step two is to choose a standard population. The standard population, as I've told you, is uh, given by WHO, or you can use the standard population as the country's population in which you are studying. For example, if you are studying about a, sit, a state's uh, the death rate of a state in a country, you can take the country's population as standard population. For example, uh, if you are studying about the if you're studying about the, the 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 death rates of uh, Assam in India, what you can do is that. You can take India's population as standard population, but in this table you can see a population that standard population. This is actually given by WHO. So what we're gonna do in the third step is that we're gonna apply the age-specific death rates which we calculated to the standard population to get what is known as expected deaths. So what is expected deaths is that we're gonna uh, do a process. We're gonna do a single step. And by doing so, we'll be calculating a value which is known as expected death. And what it means is that what the uh, given ta target population, that is the population A which we're studying, uh, would have uh, the, what death rate it would have experienced if that population had age distribution of a standard population. Okay. So by doing so, we are eliminating a factor uh, of different age composition in that population. And, and by doing so, in the end, we'll get a single value, which will be uh, which will be eligible to be which will be eligible to be compared with a different population. Okay, so if we move on further, you'll be uh, understanding even more better uh, about uh, this uh, this concept. Okay, so I'm going to tell you how to calculate expected deaths in each age group. So if you have a calculator, if you still have a calculator in your hand. Uh, just follow the steps which I which I'm telling you okay what we're gonna do is that we just have to uh, multiply the population the standard population uh, multiplied by the age specific death rate in that population and divide by thousand as we have the age specific death rates per thousand population okay so that's why we're gonna divide by thousand so what we're gonna do is that you're gonna multiply 2400 into 15 divided by thousand you're gonna get 36 and if you do this process for all the rows for all the age groups you're gonna get expected deaths for all the age groups in that population and in the end you'll end up with the total expected deaths in that population as you can see here it is 609.94 and the total population and the standard population which is given by WHO which we have used in this process 
uh, it comes to 93,000. So the last step is we're gonna do uh, last step is we're gonna do is we're gonna divide expected deaths by the total of standard population and by doing so we're gonna get what is known as standardized death rate standardized death rate if you want to know standardized death rate per thousand people we gonna multiply by thousand that's it so if you are if you still have a calculator in your hand just divide 609.94 divided by uh, 93,000 and multiply it by 1000, you'll get 6.56. So that's it. You have calculated standardized death rate for a population uh, using direct standardization. It's actually very simple, uh, but the thing is, uh, it, may, it, is, it actually looks very complicated and we actually skip these pages. We don't actually read about standardization. That's the problem. Okay, so if you remember, the crude death rate for the, this population came to 8.3 but the standardized death rate actually is 6.56 so the benefit of calculating standardized death rate is that uh, the population which you see here right the second column the standard population you take the same standard population and you apply this to a different different uh, population in the same country okay for example let us consider this this as population a right we, we've been considering this as population a the standardized death rate for population a is uh, came to 6.56 okay so we're gonna apply uh, we're gonna take a different population which is population B definitely that population will have different age composition and different age specific death rates when we do this process same process for that population you just take your any any own values uh, on your own for the, the, the age groups and apply this same standard population which you see in the second column and calculate age specific death rates for that population and expected deaths for that population using the using the steps which i've told you okay and you'll in the, in the end you'll be having a single value as standardized death, uh, death rate for that population b so in the end you'll be having standardized death rate for population a and standardized death rate for population b this value uh, is actually you can uh, this actually uh, this value can be compared so you can actually compare standardized death rate uh, of population A and population B and in this process we have eliminated the factor uh, of different age composition in those two populations and we have got a standard values which is eligible to be compared that is the benefit of doing direct standardization I hope you understood how this works if you haven't please make sure to rewind this video and watch it uh, at least twice uh, I hope you understand uh, if you watch this twice okay so if you understood just keep watching uh, yeah as I told you if you understood make sure to hit the like button okay it actually means a lot to us in direct standardization so hoping that you understood direct standardization let's uh, talk about indirect standardization in, in indirect standardization the most important parameter which you're gonna calculate is standardized mortality ratio uh, which is very important to uh, study, okay, which is abbreviated as SMR. Standardized mortality ratio uh, tells about uh, the death rate a target group would have experienced if they would have had if they experienced national mortality rates. So what does this mean? This actually is very simple. For example, if we consider a population, target population like coal miners, let's consider coal miners. They're doing a specific occupation. They're coal miners. Okay, so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna find out if this po population is having more mortality risk because of the occupation which they're doing. For so, for example, when we are considering coal miners, we're gonna find out if this population is having more chances of dying because of them being coal miners because of their occupation. So we're gonna do that with the help of standardized mortality ratio. The same way which we did for uh, direct standardization, the only difference here is that we are applying the national mortality rates itself to the uh, to this target population that is coal miners. And in this process uh, of calculating, you'll be understanding how this works. This is uh, in this table you can see the death rates of a given country uh, for the various age groups. So you can see for 25 to 34 years of age, uh, the death rate in that country is three. Like that, likewise, we have death rates for various age groups in that country. Step two in calculating standardized mortality ratio is 
uh, to have the coal worker population in the various age groups in that population just that nothing else and step three is uh, getting the num the total number of deaths that have actually occurred in the coal workers uh, population in that uh, year okay we, uh, in this process we did not have uh, the various the the observed deaths in various age groups individually we just need the whole value that is uh, here it comes to nine okay in in the year which we have studied for example if we did the study in 2019 2019 the observed deaths in the coal worker population was actually nine so nine coal coal workers have died in the in this year okay, in 2019 where we did the study and what we're gonna do is that we're gonna calculate a parameter known as expected deaths so take your calculator now and just do this uh, uh, just follow what I or what I'm telling you to do okay so what we, how we gonna calculate expected deaths is just similar to what we did previously we're gonna multiply the national population death rates uh, by the coal worker population in that age group for example let us consider the population age uh, the age group of 25 to 34 here the national population death rate per thousand is 3 we're going to multiply this 3 by the coal worker population in that age group which is 300 and we're going to divide by 1000 because we have national population death rates per thousand here so it's, uh, if you did it uh, did I come to 0 0.9 3 into 300 divided by 1000 which is 0 0.9 we can do the same st step for all the age groups and we're going to end up with all those four values in the last column you just have to add all those four uh, all, all those four values and you end up with this value 7 so the observed deaths in that population is 9 but the expected deaths which would have occurred if this population experienced national mortality rates uh, was actually is actually 7 so how do we calculate standardized mortality ratio with what we have standardized mortality ratio is actually calculated by dividing observed deaths by expected deaths Listen carefully, this is actually very very important. Standard mortality ratio is calculated by dividing observed deaths by expected deaths. Here we are having observed deaths as 9 and expected deaths as 7. We're gonna do that, uh, okay? So you're gonna divide 9 by 7 and multiply by 100 and you get a value which is 129. So this is the standardized mortality ratio for our given population. We have done indirect standardization in this process. Now what is the benefit of calculating standardized mortality ratio? If the standardized mortality ratio is more than 100, that means that the population which we are studying has more risk of dying because of the population, which are, because of the occupation which they are doing. For example, in our study here, we have found out that the standardized mortality ratio is 129, which is more than 100, obviously. So that means coal mine coal miners uh, have more risk of dying because of the occupation they are doing, that is coal mining. But if the SMR that is the standard mortality ratio turns out to be less than 100 which means it actually means that the population um, the target population whom we are studying have uh, lesser mortality risk because of the occupation are doing or we can put it the other way around uh, the occupation which they're doing is can be uh, protective for them and they don't have risk of dying because of the occupation which they're doing so that's how standardized mortality ratio works hope you understood about direct and indirect standardization and once again if you understood please make sure to hit the like button and comment below that you understood about direct standardization and direct standardization in the next video i'm going to explain you about incidence and prevalence make sure to watch our other videos on esm the lecture series the link for the lecture series will be available in the cards in the comment section below check out our new channel two minute doc which is a part of Medwitch Made Simple, where you're gonna study about diseases and drugs in just two minutes. Please read the description of this video to know how you can support our channel without spending even a single dollar. And you can also support our channel directly by donating on Patreon. The link is in the description. By doing so, you'll be helping us to make more videos for you guys. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow in my next video.